In this example, we want to find the derivative of the function given here, uh, which is the cube root of x divided by x minus 9. Okay. So to do this, um, we're going to use the uh, quotient rule. Okay, so we're going to call this, let's call this uh, f of x, and let's call this part g of x. Okay. Right, so f prime of x is going to be, uh, we're going to take the derivative, okay, so we need to take the derivative of f of x, which is q root of x times the denominator minus g of x, which with the derivative of g of x, so okay, times f of x. And all this is going to be divided by the denominator squared. Okay. All right. So the derivative of the of the cube root of x. Okay. Uh, recall that cube root of x is equal to x to the one third. Okay. So when we take the derivative of that, we're going to get one third times x to the power of one third minus one, which will leave us with negative one third. Okay, and then we have this multiplied by x minus nine. The derivative of x minus nine is just one times the cube root of x. So I'll go ahead and write like this, x to the one third. And this is all divided by x minus nine squared. Okay, so that is, that is the derivative, okay? So now from here, we can simplify a little bit more. Okay. Uh, so what we can do is, okay, we can rewrite this as one-third times x minus nine, okay? And this is going to be divided by x to the two-thirds, okay? So just changing the sign of negative two thirds to positive when we move that into the into the denominator or below x minus nine minus x to the one third and then divide by x minus nine squared. Okay, so we can simplify this by uh, looking at the numerator. We can uh, put both of these forms okay under one denominator. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this by x to the two-thirds, okay? So if we multiply this by x to the two-thirds, uh, then we have to multiply the denominator by x to the two-thirds, okay? Okay, and, okay. All right, so then from there, Okay, we need, okay, we also need a 3 there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 3 here. We can go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, because we have a 1 third here. Okay. All right, so then from here, okay, we have x minus 9 over 3x to the 2 thirds minus uh, we're going to get 3 times, so x to the 1 third times x to the 2 thirds, that is going to be x to the first power. And that's divided by 3x to the 2 thirds. Okay. And all this is divided by x minus 9 squared. Okay, so now we have x minus 9 minus 3x. Okay, all divided by 3x to the 2 thirds. And this is all divided by x minus 9 squared. Okay. Uh, so we can, again, we can simplify this. This is going to be, uh, we have x minus 9 
minus 3x all divided by 3x to the 2 thirds times 1 over actually what we can do is we'll go ahead and take the reciprocal so I'll just go ahead and write like this 1 over x minus 9 squared okay and simplifying this okay we can go ahead and distribute this part here uh, where we have x minus 9 minus 3x that is going to give us uh, minus 2x and then minus 9 and all this is divided by 3 x to the 2 thirds times x minus 9 to this to the power 2 okay and yeah that is our solution okay so really the derivative that we got up here I mean that was I mean that is the derivative of our function but then we just the rest of it's just using algebra to simplify it okay um, so that's uh, that's our solution okay and actually from here and just as a side note we could have um, you can go ahead and uh, we have a so we have three in a denominator here so we could technically we could take this solution and write it as uh, one third times minus 2x minus 9 all divided by x to the two thirds times x minus 9 squared and then we can distribute the one third into the uh, into the parentheses here for minus 2x minus 9 so that would give us minus two thirds x and then we have 9 over 3, which simplifies to 3. So we get minus 2 thirds x minus 3, all divided by x to the 2 thirds times x minus 9 squared. Okay. All right. So this is a, just another, you know, it's just another way to express our, to express the derivative. Okay.